Thank you very much. Uh, obviously, it was Veterans Day just a few days ago, and we thought one anthem was not enough. We have to play it just a little more. Uh, with that in mind, let's have a special round of applause for all the military all around the world, ladies and gentlemen. We thank them for the incredible freedoms we all get to uh, enjoy, and we thank them for allowing us to, to have a trivial pursuit, like who's going to catch the six biggest redfish? And it's really important and exciting, but it wouldn't be that without the great military, the first responders all around the world that keep us safe. So we thank them. Of course, I said this is a great event sponsored by Yamaha and Skeeter Boats. They were the big driving factor after this. They wanted to bring the Redfish Cup back. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen, and thank them. And now I'm really excited about this next announcement. If you see the Yamaha tent right there, you've got some beautiful VMAX outboards, beautiful shows, all sorts of stuff. But also the Wharf Girls are in there selling refreshing cold beverages. So grab, grab yourself a beer. Thank the Wharf for <laughs> supporting us here this week. And I guarantee you I will be. This will be the shortest way in we've ever done because we're serving beer here and I'm thirsty. All right. And, and drink beer because the way in will be more entertaining. I can guarantee you that. But uh, before we go any further, I want to bring up our tournament director. Put your hands together for Hank Weldon. <laughs> Hank, uh, you know, bringing the Redfish Cup back. Uh, I mean, there's other Redfish tournaments, but this is such a historic event, and this is a big step. And I would say, you know, we're two days in, and regardless, this has already been a tremendous success. Oh, yeah, it's been fantastic, Dave. And just a, what, what a better way to knock the dust off all the way from 2009. And, I mean, you look at all the numbers, the online numbers from yesterday, put the corporate hat on a little bit. It's been fantastic. I think we've gotten the attention all across the country and uh, really the world, for that matter, to see what uh, competition red fishing is all about. And uh, it's been exciting, and I think we're going to have a pretty good little race going into day number three. It's going to be a lot of fun. All 10 teams compete tomorrow. There is no cut in this event, so you get it through. Anything can happen. The conditions are supposed to change again, so we'll have to see how it all works out. Are you guys ready to see some fish? No, 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 no. you got to be better than that. Are you guys ready to see some giant redfish? All right, let's get started. Our first team, Derek Hudnell and Ron Houston. Eight pounds, six ounces yesterday. They need 612 to take the lead. Two fish here today. 13 pounds, 15 ounces with 22 pounds, five ounces. They are your brand new leaders. Let's hear it for Skeeter Yamaha team. What a way to start. 13 pounds, 15 ounces. And, man, what a difference a day makes. When I talked to you guys this morning, Derek, you were a little leery about the wind out there, but the wind seemed to help. Oh, yeah, it absolutely helped us. You know, we made adjustments. And, uh, I mean, everybody who was watching, we had a heck of a time out there on the water. I mean, we were jacking those redfish. Just there was never a lull. I mean, we, we had to make a few adjustments early. Our main area got muddied up, and actually it helped. It actually helped compress the fish to one side of this particular bay that we were on, and, uh, and I think that that's why we had so much success today. And, uh, and, and it really, you know, the water cleaned up really good the whole day, but the bite never slowed down. It's just really ate in that wind today. It's a lot of fun. I'm just having an absolute blast. No pressure like the Elite Series on these tournaments. So uh, that was the main thing, man. Just have fun. This place is incredible. Love it. Pretty easy to have fun when you're catching them like that, I imagine. Uh, can you keep it going for tomorrow, Ron? Yeah, I believe so, uh, Dave. Uh, I gotta thank Bass, gotta thank my sponsor, Skeeter Yamaha, and everybody who supports me, because if it wasn't for them and it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. You know, today was a day of teamwork. We were in the general area yesterday. Wind is the key here. Uh, Derek made an adjustment this morning. It wasn't too much longer after Derek made an adjustment. Uh, it was game on. It was, it was a day of exceptional fishing, teamwork. I mean, everything was just perfect. The cameraman was busy all day. I mean, it was just, it was, a, it was a banner day. I'm coming back to Texas, and I'll tell you what, Texas, you people, humble, 
beautiful place. Most important thing is you got to manage your fishery. Your water and your flats are pristine. I come from Naples, Florida. You take care of everything. You have plenty of good redfish tournaments from years to come. Okay, but before you go anywhere, what, would you tell me what this adjustment was? <laughs> That's the adjustment. Yes. Uh, my beautiful fiance right there, her little daughter, Kate, before she flew down here, she made it for me. She said, Mom, please ask Mr. Derek to wear it. It'd be good luck. But the adjustment, this was the main adjustment. We just moved up, up shallower. I mean, the, the bays got really muddy, and it actually pushed and condensed these fish up to one area of it. Um, and so, you know, when we saw that, uh, you know, we, we sat there and we talked about it, and we said, hey, you know, let's go and, and run some of this. We, we couldn't fish any of this in practice, and it just and it worked. So um, I don't think you're telling me the truth right now. I'll leave that for you to figure out. Okay, well, we'll find out because we'll have a live camera on you all day tomorrow. Is he telling the truth? Yeah, he's telling the truth, and it's true about the adjustment. You had to be on a straight line. If You guys are liars. Get out of here. <laughs> liars. All right, let's bring up our next team, Trace Aldane and Matt McCabe. <laughs> had a tough day yesterday, but a much better day today. Two fish here on day two, 11 pounds, 7 ounces. They move into sixth place, but a great rally after day number one, a tough day number one. Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Straight, I, I imagine, I mean, that this, I'm... I'm I don't fish redfish tournaments. This is actually the second day I've ever emceed a redfish event. But I would imagine as an angler, it's more fun when you catch them like that. Oh, it's a ton more fun. I haven't caught them all week, so today was uh, night and day. But uh, just went bass fishing and happened to catch some reds. It was fun. What, did, did you make an adjustment? Uh, definitely how I fished, and we didn't even go anywhere near where we practiced and fished yesterday. So nowhere near it. Are you going to tell me about how you changed things up at all or no? I mean, it's it's not difficult. Oh, okay. Well, then it's really it's it seems difficult because you're not telling me. Uh, no, I'm not going to tell you. It's not like we're going to beat these guys. You know, we kind of put ourselves in a hole yesterday, but uh, I still want to go have fun, and I don't want a few of them to show up and also want to have fun with us. So. Okay. So you're not going to tell us, Matt? Would you tell me something, please? Yes, I was a special guest of the Trade Down Day show today. Let me tell y'all, this lady put on a clinic. I was the box man and the net man, and I got for a living. What a treat to watch. She's, she put the bass fishing on today. It was awesome. Awesome. Way to go, guys. Congratulations. Two teams down and both liars. Let's bring through our next team, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Barlow and Glenn Van. 15 pounds even yesterday. Two fish here today. Currently in third place. Need 7.6 to take the lead. Nine pounds and an ounce. Your brand new leaders with 24 pounds and an ounce. So a little tougher day today, but still enough to keep them in the lead. 24 pounds and an ounce. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. So a little tougher today. Was that just conditions changed? or? No, really. We ran from here. It was pretty windy this morning. We got to our spot. It was a little calmer. Uh, we had a couple other local sportsmen. We had some kayakers. We had some duck hunters. You know, Saturday. Saturday. The, weather, the water came up a little bit. Uh, harder to see the fish. And then the wind started blowing, and they just kind of shut down. So... It wasn't as good as yesterday, but we still had fun. That's what we came here for. Still going to have a shot at this title. I mean, all 10 anglers or all 10 teams fish tomorrow. And, and by the looks of the way and early, it seems like there's a lot of changing, so it should tighten up the scoreboard and uh, be anybody's game tomorrow. How are you feeling? We just got to go catch them. <laughs> I mean, it, it's flat out. We got to get on the right school and get the right two bites. I didn't execute very good today. I caught one or two fish, I guess, but... Uh, I just need to get my cast right and put them in the right spot. Great having you guys here. We wish you luck, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Your tournament leaders, let's hear it for them as they leave. 
from today's tournament leader to yesterday's tournament leader. Let's see if they can get that lead back. Mark Menendez and Ricky Bort. 15-1 yesterday. They got two fish. They're looking for 9-1 today to take the lead. 10 pounds, 2 ounces back in the lead. 25 pounds and 3 ounces Just like that, brand new leaders, Menendez and Bart, taking the lead back. They had it yesterday. But it was a little tougher today, Mark. Was that just a changing condition? You know, did your area change with the wind, or, or was it just not the bigger bites? What are those big bumps out there in the middle of the intercoastal? What are those big bumps? What would it mean? Waves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that changed it. I was glad to be in that SX240 today. That big old boat handled it well. Captain Ricky, he may eased us up through there. And, and our bite just kind of turned off a little bit. Um, I was catching them on a bass bait yesterday. I was catching them on a Strike King Rage Craw. And today that slowed down a little bit. So we re reverted some of his tactics, and that's what pulled us through late in the day. Decent day today. I mean, I know a little tougher than yesterday, but you're back in the lead, and you know you're going to have a shot at this title tomorrow. So it's really, I mean, that's what we cheer for every week. Let's have it as close as possible going into Sunday, and it may be that way. We can, we can catch up the little bit we lost today. I lost a real good fish late, late in the day. That probably would have helped us a bunch overall. But those fish are there. It's just a matter of getting the right two bites. Great tournament so far, guys. Awesome job. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning, 645, the boats leave. And let's bring up our next team, Chris Cincy and Chris Kennedy. Had 811 yesterday. Two fish to add to that today. Nine pounds, four ounces. They move into fourth place with 17 pounds, 15 ounces. Slippery little suckers. <laughs> Those will go back in the Yamaha Avco live release boat, and I'll be back in the water for you guys to catch for years and years to come. Uh, tell me about uh, your day and how you're feeling about going into tomorrow. Well, uh, we missed, we lost three good fish. They're all, everybody has fish stories. It is, it's part of the game. Um, he broke one off on an oyster bed. And other than that, we, we started off strong, and they just got smaller throughout the day, which in our bite died about maybe 1230. So it is what it is. We're going to just go have fun again tomorrow and see if we can do better. So, Sunday, fishing for $50,000. It's tough not to have fun when you're in that situation, and you're going to be in it tomorrow. Yeah, we've been having fun the whole time. It's, it's a great event. It's a great venue. I love fishing this Texas area. I've never been here. Man, it is fantastic. It's just fun. So yeah, you, yesterday you said bring in some more, some some more weight, and we did. Maybe about a half pound more. So more on. again tomorrow? Yeah, tell us eighteen. Tell me to bring in eighteen pounds. Why don't you bring in twenty tomorrow? <laughs> All right, you got it. All right, I look forward to it. Twenty pounds tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. One thing, I I would like to say thank you for the reason I'm actually thank you for Yamaha Skeeter and you guys Bassmaster for putting this on. Incredible tournament. I've been doing it for twenty years. This brings back the old school stuff, level playing field, um, gives everybody a chance to win, and it's an awesome time, awesome event. I'm super happy, and hopefully I can qualify again for it next year. And I also want to thank the people and the companies that, that helped me get here. Number one, Yamaha Motor Corporation. Number two, Slayer Inc. Lure Company. Number three, Shimano. And number four, Rely on Batteries, because without all those people, I wouldn't even be here, and I wouldn't have a nice boat to run. And I just want to say thank you and give much appreciation to all those companies, and still, much appreciation to everybody that had anything to put in this tournament on. It is awesome. And I can't wait to go fishing again tomorrow. I'm, I have a great time. Can you tell them the Wharf Girls are selling beer under the Yamaha tent? And the Wharf Girls are selling beer under the Yamaha tent. So if you all want a brew, a cold brew, get you one. And thank, thanks again. Let's hear it for these guys and for beer. Everybody cheer. <laughs> you guys are buying the round, right? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> all right. 
Our next team had a big day yesterday. Looking to do it again here today. Patrick Walters and Dwayne Este. Este. 11 pounds even yesterday. Two fish today. Need 14.4 to take the lead. 15 pounds, 6 ounces for Dwayne Este and Patrick Walters. Look at that. Patrick learned how to hold a redfish, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Biggest bag of the tournament, 15-6. And the crazy thing is, everybody that watched you on live, it was this far away from being a lot bigger than even that. Um, and it was his fault. I'm giving Dwayne trouble because the whole way through it, I mean, Patrick's right away said, I think it's an over. Dwayne... The whole way back to the oh, it, it, it meant, and I was sold. I mean, he really made me a believer. Yeah, it was a quarter inch too long, and it was 10 pounds even. It was a big one, and the good thing is I feel pretty good about today. We struggled for a while. I mean, it was 10 o'clock. I think we finally caught our first one, and then uh, we slowly just kept pecking away, pecking away. And after lunch, I think we dialed something in. So, uh, I mean, we're around 10-pound fish. They just need to be a quarter inch shorter, but I feel pretty good about tomorrow. When we were with you in the morning, we were following you. It took you guys a while, like Patrick said, to get on them. Was that just finding the right color water, the right quality water? Or what were you guys actually doing this morning? No, actually yesterday we tried, in, in pre-fishing, we found several places with fish. I say several places, about three, four places. And yesterday we did a lot of riding around, going to each spot, you know, kind of like fishing your home water. Sometimes you know too much. And we kind of took that approach yesterday. We wanted to go hit all the spots because when we first started, we caught smaller fish. And, of course, during pre-fishing, we caught good fish everywhere. So, you know, we want to do like what most people want. We, oh, they're not here. We need to move to the next spot, next spot, next spot. So we bounced around. Today we was like, you know what, we're going to simplify this. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go out there, go to the spots we think we have the best fish. And actually we caught the one good fish when y'all were sitting there watching. And after that, we moved somewhere else and we said, hey, look, the fish are here. We just need to find them. And our fish moved about a half a mile, mile, and we found them. So, you know, we caught two real good fish, moved twice, caught some other good fish, and was like, okay, at least we got a starting point tomorrow. They might not be there tomorrow, but we feel good about it today. So, and one last thing, all you ladies out there, does anybody know what Lamaze classes are? Do y'all know? Raise y'all hands. Okay, thank y'all very much. Okay, so we on the boat. After he fought this long, this big fish around the boat four times, I told him I was going to send him to Lamaze classes. He said, is that some kind of Cajun thing or something? Oh, it, it's definitely him. Yeah, I mean, but look, I got a young pup right here. He's 27 years old. He has no kids yet. So I told him his wife was going to teach him all about that, you know, when he gets home. Teach him all about Lamaze. Yeah. Breathing exercises. I'm, I'm going to need it after fishing with Dwayne. <laughs> Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen, your tournament leaders. All right, let's keep them rolling. Let's bring up our next team, Chris Zaldane and Ryan Rickard. 14-10 yesterday, two fish here today. Two fish is the limit. Got to be between 20 and 28 inches. Just, they need 11 pounds, 13 ounces to take the lead. 11 pounds, 5 ounces. They move into second place. 8 ounces off the lead. Another good day for this team. Having a great tournament. Twenty-five pounds, fifteen ounces, so just short of the lead, and it doesn't matter who's leading on day two. It's all about the final day, and you guys are going to be in a great spot going out there tomorrow. Oh man, I can't even think about tomorrow because tonight I'm not going to hear the end of it. My wife weighed in second, and she caught more weight than us today, so I am not going to hear the end of it tonight. So glad they had a good day, um, and today, you know, it was just a just a tough north northeast wind, just like bass fishing. I'm not used to this red fishing thing. Just like bass fishing, when you get that east wind, fish bite the least. I mean, period. You can feel the air. It's high pressure set in. And our area just wasn't loaded with those small bait fish we were looking for. It didn't happen until late. So 
Um, looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to leave it up to Captain uh, Ryan here and, and uh, try to figure out, come up, formulate a good game plan. We've got an area 20 miles north. We've got an area 20 miles south. We don't want to waste all our time burning up fuel, burning up that clock tomorrow, but we have to swing for them. It's going to be fun to watch, Captain Rick. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, actually. Um, Ryan. That's all good. So you're, I was reading your last. It's all fine. Sorry, I'm an idiot. I don't even catch redfish. I'm just talking. Sorry. It's all good. You guys call me on my last name, Ricard. It makes me sound smarter. What is it? It's actually Rickard, but I'll take Ricard. It makes Somebody me told me it was Ricard, and I said it was Rickard. I'll take it. He actually calls me Captain Richard on the boat, so I'm cool with it. Whatever. <laughs> Well, good. really? Yeah. Oh my God. Nobody's called you the right name all week. You know, it was him, him and Seth both, the camera guys, like, hey, you just got to roll with it. I'm like, hey, I'm Captain Richard. Whatever you guys want is who I am. So we'll roll with it. No, we, I feel pretty good about tomorrow. Listen, we, we've got an area that we have not touched yet that we've specifically saved for, for the last day if we needed it. Uh, we could have made a run there today because it definitely was a little bit of a struggle. Our fish moved on us, but they showed up about, well, about 45 minutes to go, and it's a little hot and heavy. We missed a couple really big bites. So we've really got to strategize what we decide to do tomorrow because, we, like he said, we don't want to be running so far and wasting so much time. But definitely, if we get the right bites tomorrow, we've definitely got a shot. Well, good luck tomorrow, Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just thought I'd throw another name in there. <laughs> All right, well, let's bring up our next team from Asheville, Alabama, Matt Heron and Chad Manning. Had 10 pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. Two fish here today, nine pounds even. Puts them in sixth place currently with 19 pounds, 13 ounces. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. So yesterday you told me on stage that you have no ambitions to, to leave bass fishing and do this because it's just too much hard work. How are you feeling today? It's still a lot of hard work, but it sure is fun. These things fight like crazy and kind of getting to hang out with Chad and getting seeing his world. And learn, man, I've learned a lot. And, you know, he, he's got a, a ton of what knowledge about this. He's from Florida, so he and I both are lost. But he, uh, just the way he, uh, he approaches what his craft and the way he, he dissects water and us working together, it's been a learning experience, and I, I value the week. And got one more day in the boat with him, and really look forward to getting out there, getting after it again. Looking forward to seeing it go down on FS1 tomorrow. How you feeling about it? Uh, good. We're we're actually getting in a little bit of groove. Uh, you know, you can almost call us high low. He's he's wi wide open, and I like to sl slow things down. So <laughs> today we're in the median. So hopefully tomorrow we can back it off and just do a little slower slower approach. Um, our our fish today, I've never seen north wind where i'm from push water up i really thought it was going to be down and i thought that was going to help us but uh what it did is it pushed those fish out and away from the edges that we were fishing and and moved them around so tomorrow i don't even think we're going to go to those areas and we're almost going to just wing it and and i'm going to drive around i'm going to read water and and hope i put myself in the right spot look forward to watching it go down on fs1 tomorrow guys just a few more teams left to weigh in Let's bring up our next team. Jeremy Himes and Mickey Gibbs. Good day. 7-Eleven yesterday. A better day today. Two fish, 13 pounds, 12 ounces. A much better day today. They move all the way up into sixth place with 21 pounds, 7 ounces. Hold them high and let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. Thirteen, twelve, giving you 21 pounds, 7 ounces. And obviously that wind, uh, you guys are a fan of the wind. After if, just, just by judging of the weights, did the wind affect it today? Does that, is that what made it better or do you guys change things up? I think the wind helped a little bit. Um, we just actually moved off the bank a little bit from where we were yesterday. Uh, same exact areas. I mean, we went through numbers yesterday and caught over 20 fish yesterday, but they're all rats. Seen the good ones that we needed. And today we just totally made the adjustment, stayed off the bank a little bit in that cloudy water, and started picking up the good ones. I mean, when I say we whacked them, we whacked them today pretty good. And uh, I don't know how many times we had anywhere from, what, 11 to 12 pounds 
So if we do what we did today, again tomorrow, we might not win it, but we're going to come in and close somewhere. I'm looking forward to seeing it go down. How are you feeling about your shot tomorrow? I mean, we've been around good fish. Um, we were around good fish yesterday. We just didn't get them to eat. Um, I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to get, get our weight tomorrow. I think we'll be all right. I look forward to seeing it all go down. 6.45 takeoff, or 6.35 takeoff, sorry. I'm, it's, it's Canadian exchange rate. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's bring up our final team, uh, Travis Land and Mickey, Nikki Savon. Savon? Savon, what is it? Chop it. But what is it? Whatever. You, what, whatever. You, you'd be an over. You'd be an over if you were a redfish anyways. Nobody even likes you. 13-3 yesterday. Can I do my job? Do you want me to do my job here? Or are you just going to keep chirping? 13-3 <laughs> yesterday. They need 13-4 to take the lead here today. Two fish, 14 pounds, 8 ounces. 14-8. Biggie and Smalls deliver once again today. <laughs> There we go, Biggie and Smalls, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for them. We have made a lot of jokes this week about the difference in your guys' height. But for the first time, I watched it go down. I mean, I watched. Explain to me what happened with that fish that you cast on the other side of the dock, and then midway through you decided, hey, take, tell me what happened there. My, my, my partner, um, I got short arms. Yeah. <laughs> we ended up catching this fish on the other side of this dike, and there was no way to get it in the boat. And he's trying to net, and the net wouldn't even touch the water. And just, just to be clear, you can't leave the boat. For those of you thinking just step up, you cannot leave the boat. So you got to stay in the boat. So, so he's, he's trying and trying. I'm looking at him like, oh, this is hilarious. And I said, here, just hold a pole. So he gave me the pole, and I reached the net, and I was like, clockwork. It was only a three-pounder. You could have lifted it over the wall. Uh, no, we had a great day today, man. I, I tell you what, uh, we made an adjustment, too, and it paid off. Um, I feel really, really good about, about what we did today. Those fish are only 25 and a half inches long, so if we go catch the ones that are close to the 28 mark, they weigh eight pounds, eight and a half pounds, and, and we caught them pre-fishing. And uh, we're, we got a, a great group of anglers that we're competing against, so you can't ever, you can't ever let off the gas. So... I didn't really want to be in first going into the last day, but here we are. So I always like to move up the, the leaderboard. But I want to thank everybody that's here. This is a great turnout. i got to thank my family, number one, my great sponsors. One of them's here, Jim and Jared Poole. They've been behind us 100% this week. Uh, I really appreciate y'all being here, and uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Let me clear something up, because yesterday – yeah, let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, after takeoff, I go on the water, you know, and we with a camera, and we covered the tournament. And, yeah, and we, we called you guys and, and said, hey, where are you? And you told us where you were about 40 miles away from where we were. But we were like, no worries. Let's run back to the dock. We'll put it on the trailer. We'll trailer all the way down here. We'll run out to – and you weren't even there anymore. Why did you lie to us? We knew you were coming. I'm going in your boat tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to be in your boat all day. No, we need to be light. <laughs> hey, I've seen you fish. i got a good feeling you will be light tomorrow, leaders. <laughs> Let's hear it for them, ladies and gentlemen, your tournament leaders. We want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here today. The Yamaha Bassmaster Redfish Cup Championship. We have 10 anglers left. And here is your leaderboard. Obviously, Travis and Nikki are lead this deal. Patrick Walters and Dwayne Esty. Was it right? Whatever. Look, I can say all sorts of other names, bro. I got no problem with Marizo Shimizu and Takumi Ito. Win more Bassmaster events, and I'll know how to say your name right. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, these redfish anglers are ornery. Chris Aldine and Ryan Ricard are in second. Mark Menendez, Ricky Bott in fourth. Thomas uh, Barlow and Glenn Van in fifth. Terry Cudnall and Ron Houston in sixth. Jeremy and Mickey Gibb in seventh. Matt Heron, Chad Manning in eighth. Chris Cincy and Chris Kennedy in ninth. And Trey Zaldane and Matt McCabe made a giant charge today. They round out our top ten. We want to thank each and every one of you for coming out here. One more time, let's hear it for Yamaha, Skeeter, Powerpole, Humminbird, Minkota, all these great companies.